Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. The model demonstration of pharyngeal arches. Uh, the uh, transverse section to the upper part of the embryo. This area represents the prosencephalon. The prosencephalon. These are the optic vesicles. The optic vesicles. And this is the ophthalmic nerve. The ophthalmic nerve. The right one and left one. This is the maxillary process. The maxillary process. And this is the maxillary nerve. The right one and left one. Now the real pharyngeal arches. This is the sixth pharyngeal arch. Eighth, tenth and 12th pharyngeal arches 6th pharyngeal arch has mandibular division of the trigeminal nerve the 8th pharyngeal arch has facial nerve 10th pharyngeal arch has glossopharyngeal nerve the glossopharyngeal nerve So, uh, sorry, uh, first pharyngeal arch, mandibular division, trigeminal nerve, second pharyngeal arch, facial nerve, third pharyngeal arch, glossopharyngeal nerve, the fourth pharyngeal arch has superior laryngeal nerve and the recurrent laryngeal nerve. This is probably the superior laryngeal nerve. Okay, these are the grooves and these are the pouches, the pharyngeal pouches and this region between groove and pouch is the pharyngeal membrane, the pharyngeal membrane. This is the mesoderm of the first pharyngeal arch, the mesoderm of the second pharyngeal arch and so on. These develop into lateral lingual swellings. This whole area represents the floor of the primordial pharynx. The floor of the primordial pharynx. These develop into the lateral lingual swellings. There is a medial lingual swelling, and beneath it, the medial lingual swelling is also known as tuberculum impar. A tuberculum impar, and beneath it, we also got a foramen cecum. Foramen cecum. This is either the hypopharyngeal eminence or the copula. Hypopharyngeal eminence or the copula. This is the tracheal groove. Tracheal groove which grows as, as a tracheal groove and this is the esophagus. The esophagus. This represents the probably the myotome. This is the myotome. This is also myotome. This is the developing vertebral column. And this is the uh, this is the notochord, the notochord, and this is the neural tube, the neural tube. On the sides we have got epicardial ridge, epicardial ridge, and the cervical sinus, the cervical sinus. This is the pericardial cavity, the pericardial cavity, the pericardio pleural membrane, the pericardio pleural membrane. This is the lung bud, the lung bud, the right lung bud and the left lung bud. And this is the Uh, plural cavity the plural cavity 
we've got these structures on the right side as well the right side and the left side and uh, here we also have a pleuro peritoneal canal I'm not sure the exact position but the pleuro peritoneal canal is also somewhere over here and this this might be the dorsal aorta <laughs> dorsal aorta and this is either the superior vena cava or the sinus venosus superior vena cava or the sinus venosus esophagus esophagus so I guess that's it if any mistakes I apologize thank you